Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. In this video, I'm going to talk about working with add-on domains. Now, you're probably watching this video because you have an add-on domain and you want to know how to publish your website that you built with 90 Second Website Builder to your add-on domain account. And that's what we're going to talk about. But for those of you who don't know what an add-on domain is, go ahead and watch the video and you will learn about how that works. First of all, let's talk about hosting and your domain. When you purchase a hosting account, of course, that's the place you're going to store your domain, the domain you may have registered your domain at GoDaddy or wherever, but you're going to host it on a hosting service, a web host server, and that domain is where you're going to store your website. Now, when you purchase a hosting account, you always start with what's called a primary domain. And most hosting accounts, and I should say a lot of hosting accounts, only host a primary domain. But there are a lot of other kinds of hosting accounts out there. It's also possible to get a hosting service that allows you to not only host your primary domain, but also host what are called add-on domains, which means allows you to host a, a, a certain amount of additional domains without purchasing extra hosting service. Now, when you host your primary domain, the important thing to know about publishing to that host is where your website files are supposed to be stored. And in most cases, the website files for your primary domain are stored in a directory or a folder called the public HTML. So you create your website and when you go to publish it to the web host, you want to make sure you store it inside the public HTML folder. Now, not all hosts call it public HTML, but most of them do. Sometimes they call it something else. So you'll have to find out from your host what they call this particular directory. That is the directory that your website is supposed to be stored in. So in most cases, it's called public HTML. But if you happen to have the type of hosting account, what we call at Blackwire Hosting a multi-domain account, if you happen to have, let's say, one of our pro plans, then you can host an unlimited number of add-on domains in addition to your primary domain. So that means you can go register some other domain, we'll call it someotherdomain.com, and actually host it on the same account. However, even though you're hosting it on the same account, so you don't have to buy additional hosting, you have to store it in a very special location, because obviously you don't want to mix up your website files. Well, in most cases, your add-on domain websites are going to be stored also inside the public HTML, but inside what's called a subfolder. And that folder will usually be called the same as the domain. So in this case, if we've added on a domain to our account called someotherdomain.com, the website files for that add-on domain will be stored inside a folder called someotherdomain.com, which is a folder inside the public HTML. So if you're confused, hang on because we'll look at it a little different way so you can see how this works. Okay, so here I've logged into my cPanel or my web hosting account for the domain audiospots.com. Now this is called a primary domain. I've hosted this domain at Blackwire Hosting and this is my control panel to manage that domain. Now if I wanted to publish my website to these, the uh, hosting account here, I'd need to set that up in 90 Second Website Builder. So let's go look at that. So here's the website that I've built in 90 Second Website Builder called Audio Spots for this demonstration. And if I wanted to publish my website, I'd have to make sure that I set it up in the locations like this. So I've set up a publishing location for audiospots.com. Here are my settings. I call it Audio Spots. That's just for my sake, of course. And there's the URL and the host name and, and all the stuff that you do to publish. Now, notice I'm going to publish this website to the folder called Public HTML. And that's because it's a primary domain. It's my main domain on this hosting account. So if I wanted to publish, I would publish there. But I've built another website, a website that I've called The Magic Videos. Let me open up that one. So here's another completely different website with a completely different domain called themagicvideos.com and I want to host this as an add-on domain. So let's go back to the cPanel. So here's my cPanel for audiospots.com and I'm going to go to the feature called add-on domains. Now if you haven't already done this, here's how you do it. I simply type in my domain name, hit tab, and cPanel actually fills in this information for me. I can make up a password for it. And simply click this button. And it's that easy. 
I've now added on a domain. Now, of course, what I haven't shown you is I've actually registered this domain at my registrar and I've already pointed it to the server, but we'll save that information for another video. So assuming that you have registered the domain, you can't just pick any domain, it's got to be one you've registered and pointed to the server, then you could come here and add it on to your multi-domain account. So as you can see, cPanel has shown me that I've added on a domain called themagicvideos.com and it's showing me, this is very important, this is called the document root, where the website files for this domain must be stored. And it's showing me that very path. It's telling me, store your website in a folder called public HTML, which has a folder called themagicvideos.com. So that's going to be my path to store this website. So now that we've added on our domain, let's go back to 90 Second Website Builder. So here's my Magic Videos website. Now, if I wanted to publish this website, I wouldn't want to publish it to this location because this one is set up for audio spots. This one is set up to pub publish to my primary domain folder. Remember, I'm going to publish to an add-on domain. So I need to create a different location. So let's do that. Publish to a remote server, FTP. I'm going to call this one my magic videos. I want to fill in all of my information. Now, here's where it might confuse you. I'm filling in the same host name as I did for audio spots. Why? Well, because it's the same server. This may be very confusing, but I can also use the same login that I used for audio spots. Why? Well, because Magic Videos is a part of, at least the storage device, is part of my primary domain. So let's just fill in the username for my primary domain, the password for it, and this is the part that will change. So this setup is almost identical to my setup for audio spots. Of course, I changed it where it's necessary. So this is called Magic Videos and the URL is different, but the host name and the port name, the username and password are the same because I'm actually going to log into my primary domain and I'm going to go one level deeper than the public HTML where audio spots is stored. And I'm going to store this website inside a subfolder the subfolder inside audio spots called the magicvideos.com. I'm going to save this location as magic videos. Now I have two different locations. The audio spots looks like this. Again, the information here is the same, but the remote folder is different. And if I look at this one, information here is the same because it's the same server and same account. That's why we can use the username and password for spots because it's the same account, but it's a different location within that account that the website's going to be stored. So now when I'm ready to publish this website, let's say I'm working on my website and I make the changes that I want to make and I've moved stuff around, I've got it the way I want it. When I go to publish and I hit my publish button, I want to make sure that I choose this location for this website and I hit publish and I'll be publishing to the right location. Conversely, if I want to publish my audio spots website and I go to publish I want to make sure I select this location because this will store it inside the primary domains folder public HTML and then I would publish here so hopefully that wasn't too confusing if you aren't familiar with add-on domains you can get add-on domain information directly from your host but if you are aware of add-on domains and you want to know how to manage them with 90 second website builder that's how you do it just create a separate location for your add-on domain project and make sure you send your website to the right location.